Hello! Welcome back to Pentiment. We have our money from the advance from the Abbey. The guy didn't really want to give it to us, but that's okay. That's the guest house. So that we can... Oh, the Abbot house. I can get in there. Let's check out the guest house really quick before I go back to town. In the previous video, we explored all the Abbey. Oh, quick louse. Let's talk to... Oh, that's the... Oh, he's the guy that brought the... The Baron? Well, I don't remember. Houses up here. Horses up here. That's got to be what those are. No, that's... thought that was horses. That's a cart. Those horses. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. We can get a chance to look at this. The figures in this shrine to St. Christopher are quite nice. Well, that's good to know, I suppose. Iris is beautiful. Forest. Let's hold off on the forest. What's that? So we got our money that we can pay to the Gertners. And, okay, mill. We don't need to go to the mill at the moment. Let's go to this. Find the same mill. It's the statue. looks ancient. In the previous video, we also found a secret entrance to the library. Ah, uh, Columbine. Looks like it's coming in early. Which we couldn't do anything with, but which we are supposed to remember, apparently. Okay, so that's up there. Right, that's the forest. Thomas. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Klaus. Trucker house. Can't go up there. Town commons. Here we go. Stu, really? They haven't gotten rid of the sheep yet? Jeez. Okay, well, I already talked to you, and apparently I can't talk to you again. Kirtner Farm. Okay, let's give him some money. I have something for you, Clara. Oh. This should be enough to pay my rent and the tax you owe the Abbey. It's far more than your rent payment. We can't accept this. Please, Claire, at least I can do. You and Peter have been such gracious hosts. Consider the rest of gift, then, in addition to my rent. I insist. It's enough to pay back the abbot, yes? He who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Sure. Don't worry about me, Clara. I convinced you to pay me a bit early. I wanted to be sure I could pay your taxes in time. We'll say I'll be fine. We won't burden her with the knowledge. Know what this means to us. It's the Christian thing to do. Nice of me to be a Christian and not a hedonist. Alright, so... That's a cool thing, I suppose. What's next? Uh, we have other quests. Whoops. So, what are our other quests? Our journal. I already did that. Primer. Another day, another few pages for the abbot, and hopefully... A few for myself. I need to get across town and head up to the Abbey so I can start work at the Scriptorium. I don't suppose you can fast travel. <laughs> Oops, maps. Um, no, apparently you cannot fast travel. Great! Okay. Alright. We're heading to the Abbey. Be there a sec. Okay, here we are, back at the Abbey. We need to go to the Scriptorium. That was here. Go in here. 
I think it was in here. For Abby, that's to the monastery Lavarium. That's to the guy. Cloister. Crypt. The tower. The dormitory. The old Bailey. Matthew. Sacristy. Was an old Bailey. Church. Dormitory. There we go. I think this is one place I skipped. How's Piero doing? Yeah, it is good to see me, isn't it? Good morning, brother Piero. Good to see you as well. I don't like this weather. My bones ache. It means a storm. Is there's going to be weather? Big York Gertner says that if you live here 10 or 15 years, you can smell storms coming. Brother Adok has been here long enough that we can always smell him coming. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Brother Guy, the fate of the youths who jeered the aged prophet Elisha, Elijah, outside of Bethel. Mauled by bears, weren't they? She bears. Oh, really? Indeed. I am comparing you to an impudent youth whom the Lord in his ineffable wisdom may choose to strike down. Uh, please show more respect to Brother Adok, your being mean spirit. Calm yourself, Brother Adok. You are too sensitive to guys' jokes. Yeah, we'll admonish the young guy. The old fart can defend himself. Well, charming people. So you, God protects his faithful against the Inclusius. Right. Well, everyone seems quite lively. I suppose that means Prior Fernick is not overseeing us today. We don't like him, apparently. He was here, but then he heard Lorenz Rothvogel had arrived, and he hurried out like a little mouse. You're so desperate to impress the abbot, no one like it's pathetic. You feign kindness to father and abbot and our prior, only to sweet and find their back shameful. Oh, oh no, Baron Roth with his manuscript. I just realized that he will want to see his manuscript. How silly of me. Of course that's why he is visiting. Perhaps if you were younger and faster, you wouldn't need to worry about it. Well, gee, what's the problem? Baron is just one client, and he has to wait like everyone else. Guy, uh, someday you will stand where Piero is, and a young monk will stand where you are now. The true craftsman cares more about quality than simply being fast. Damn, Skippy. Skill comes seeds. Sadly, it may elude you forever. Jeez. Well, <laughs> now write your letters. Baron is just one client. He has to wait like anyone else. Oh, well, that's saying the same thing, then. Andres Rothvogel's not like anyone else. Powerful friends. The Prince Bishop of Freis... Freising? Kearsaw's already out of favor. Father Abbott does not want to have a deal with more attention. The Prior Farrick isn't here. I'm going to work on my masterpiece until he arrives. Okay, so... Not doing your work. Oh, that's right. I need to reference the Indermal manuscript. Shouldn't you, like, do a little work since you just got an advance? Zedina. Indermal manuscript. The Book of Hours. Oh. What do you mean? I mean, you sleep alone? Oh my goodness. It would be nice to have something to think about. Treat to find. Okay, she's a little horny. <laughs> you really are a cloud on a sunny day, Andreas. All the way upstairs, can't you get by without it? I need to reference it for my work. Oh, for crying out loud. Luminata to get Sister Luminata. Andreas needs a book and he's being inappropriate. <laughs> oh, 
I'd like to borrow in your mouth. Manuscript, the book of hours. I didn't think you were. <laughs> Zadina has a poor attitude toward her vocation, the rule, and I suppose the Ten Commandments. Oh, well, that is great for a nun. If this is not her vocation. She's not be here. You expect too much from a young woman who's been locked up. I imagine it takes longer to. Well, yeah, she should to run away. Even one is unruly. Well, I'll judge she, she was really horny. <laughs> Please return it promptly. Hey there, old guy. Andres, may I see how your master is? Of course. Ooh. Composition lovely. There's a joyful spirit of rearrangement of the pictures. Contrast of colors is also quite nice. Rich and beautiful on their own, but not overpowering the scene. It doesn't feel right. I don't know why. Excellent interpretation of someone else's work. Son, you're copying the illustration from the Indermau manuscript almost exactly. So what's wrong with that? Haven't I improved on it? Aesthetically, yes, it's wonderful, but I feel you have not given much thought to what it represents. It's November. In November, we show peasants leading the pigs into the forest to forage on acorns before... Well, that's cheery. Peasants here are no longer allowed to forage acorns in the forest. Well, that's terrible. Great lords and abbots across the empire have forbidden it, even Father Gurnot... This is the way November is painted. But it is not the way November is. Art is illusion, storytelling, but in their most sublime form, these images illuminate a path to truth. That's not always true. Have, it's most important to me that my clients are happy they won't pay me for truth. The technique is all that matters. Perfecting the craft. Can't that be enough? Only you can answer that, Andreas. There was a time that I marveled at my own technique. There's a reason we monks do not usually identify ourselves in our work. It foments pride and vanity. With time, I learned to take some... Oh my gosh, this conversation never ends. You need to listen to my opinions. They are just the thoughts of one. Yes, they are. Stop talking. There's no place for the monastic scriptoria anymore. In truth, this room is a place out of time. Why has Kearsaw kept us up for so long? People, places have a difficult time letting go of the past. I am not among them. The creation of books of art is no longer the province of monasteries, so be it. More people will be able to write, more we will read, and in so doing, be brought to truth. Do I think there's a danger in anyone being over? Oh, really? I think you will always be, there will always be a place for artists like you and Brother Enoch. And, yeah, not you. <laughs> it's kind of you to say so, Andres, but you need not be concerned for me. I have lived a long life, happy to have served the Lord. When he calls for me, I am ready. So that's prime is the day. So while I get that they're illuminating religious works or of that nature. Yes. Too much talk, I'll ask forgiveness for not honoring the rule. Until later, Andres. The idea that art needs to have truth you know, that, um, it's great if art stumbles into truth, but I don't think that's the necessity of what are you doing, Andreas? At this time and date, Andreas spilled his ink because he's an idiot. What's going on in here? 
over here. I oh, can't go that way. Yeah, art, I don't think it's necessarily about truth. I mean, there's just not the necessity to do so. What was that noise? I'm sorry, Sister Illumina. I knocked a bowl of meat to the floor. But then Prior Farinet came in. He wrote in one of his books, slammed it closed and left. So such a hurry, I don't think he even noticed me. I was slamming the book shut. Prior Farinet should know better than that. Some of these manuscripts are quite delicate. Seem to be in a great hurry. I think he's on the edge since Baron Rothvogel arrived early, which is why books should not be taken out of the library unless it is necessary for divine reading or work in the scriptorium. Are you mad at me for borrowing the Chronic of Clara? There are a few more books I've been wanting to borrow. No, ag anger is not an appropriate response for, for a mm. Well, there should be none. But the fact remains that you tricked me into giving you that book for no valid reason. Is it not valid to want to see the work of one of the great Irish scribes? One who wrote masterworks that even now grace liberties at Cologne, Fulda, and Mainz. No, it's not. Not unless it pertains to your work or the abbot permits it. She is not nice. None of the nuns are nice. So this fuss about Lorenz Rothfeld, why is Prior Ferenc so nervous? I didn't know you were familiar enough with the man to use his Christian name. Anyway, I haven't dealt with him personally, but the Prior and Father Abbot have. Know that he's purchased a number of our valuable manuscripts over the years. Have you paid enough to help the Abbey when we needed it? What did you buy? I can't remember, you know, I have my own responsibilities. He bought our Prior... Our Great works, but I don't remember what any of them were. If you help me recover some missing books, I'll tell you what I know about the Baron. Sure, I'll help the angry nuns. Thank you, it's the good of the Abbey. Where should I begin? Out there, where you and your cohort have carelessly strewn books around the scriptorium. I'll tell you what books I'm looking for, find them and return them to me. The first books are two volumes of the Aenid. Reddish covers, 14 inches by 10 inches, 3 inches thick. Innsbruck inches or Nuremberg inches. They are among Piero's favorites. He keeps them by my desk. They are not his... Oh! Alright, I'm going to stop this video here. Um, if you're enjoying the videos, because we have not got anywhere near an actual story yet, um, so I'm would be kind of surprised honestly uh, please give it a like it uh, helps a great deal um, also if you uh, want to see more content of the pentiment or other games please subscribe to the channel you'll f hear about new stuff when it comes out and thank you all for watching as always until next time peace out